Hello, calculus fans. There's a theorem that says that a real number is rational, which means you can write it as an integer divided by an integer, if and only if it can be written as a repeating decimal. Okay, so a couple of things in here. If and only if means that either both conditions are true or both conditions are false. Repeating decimal, we only require that the decimal be eventually repeating. There can be some things at the beginning which do not repeat, but as long as the decimal eventually settles into a repeating pattern. So as an example, let's show that we can write the integer 6.1528528528 as a quotient of integers. So 6.1 with a repeating 528 can be rewritten like this. We'll peel off the 6.1, that's the non-repeating part, and then what's left over is 0 0.0528 plus 0 0.000528 plus 0 0.000000528 and so on. So not counting the 6.1 portion, the rest of it is a geometric series. Its first term is 0 0.0528 and then here's the key. The ratio is 0 0.001. Every time you go from one term to the next, you're multiplying by 0 0.001 because you're moving the decimal place three spaces to the left. Since that ratio in absolute value is less than one, that geometric series converges. So now we can use our formula for the sum of a convergent geometric series. So remember that 6.1 out in front does not fit with the geometric series portion. So we'll do 6.1 plus the sum of the convergent geometric series. Remember the first term was 0.0528 and the ratio was 0 0.001. So we go first term divided by 1 minus the ratio. If we clean that up, 61 over 10 plus 0.0528 divided by 0.999. And so that fraction with the decimals can change into 528 over 9,990. And if you make a common denominator, add and simplify, you'll end up with 20,489 over 3,330. So if you were to take your calculator and punch in this fraction expressed as a decimal, you would get 6.1 and then with a repeating 528. You might as well try it out and see that that's really what you get. Okay, that's all for now.